In order to explain the formation of a new sea in a million years from now, we can turn to the concept of tectonics and the forces that shape the continents, both the sections of the continents above the ocean and the parts below the ocean. Tectonics not only account for fault lines and earthquakes but also play a significant role in the lateral and vertical motion of entire continents, influencing their current and historical characteristics such as depth, altitude, latitude, and longitude. The primary source of force in this context is the Mid-Atlantic Ocean Ridge, where new crust is continually being created. As the African continental crust is pushed on one side and resisted on the other, it experiences various pivot points, points of upthrust, and angles of elevation across its structure. This interaction has led to a rise in the altitude of specific parts of the continent, while other sections sink. Concentrated pushing forces underneath the western side of the continental crust, particularly along the Atlantic side, have resulted in the eastern side of the continent acting as a pivot or fulcrum. This resistance to compression forces, combined with interactions with other continental crust on the eastern side, has led to the formation of the rift valley at the eastern corner of the continent. Over millions of years, these tectonic forces have not only elevated the western tip of the continent, and created the rift valley at its eastern tip, but have also caused significant changes across the continent, as a whole. Lakes have formed, animal migration patterns have been altered, and the courses of rivers and waterways, including the Nile and its historical tributaries, have been transformed. The Sahara Desert, for example, was once a vast grassland savanna similar to the Serengeti in East Africa. The region had lakes, rivers, and forests that attracted large animals such as elephants, which is why ancient maps often depicted herds of elephants, lions, and river birds along the western Sahara. These tectonic forces also affected the flow of the Nile tributaries, redirecting them away from the mega lakes that lay beneath the sands of the Sahara. In a similar context across South America, the presence of marine fossils such as dolphins and seahorses in the Amazon River as well as whale and seahorse fossils and Bolivian salt lakes that exist within the high altitudes of the Andes Mountains, indicates that, like the African continent, sections of the South American continents was once at much lower elevations, but rose as the entire continent was pushed toward the planetary crust that lines the Pacific Ocean. The rise of the African and South American continents over millions of years can be attributed to the tectonic activities along the Mid-Atlantic Ocean Ridge which simultaneously pushed both land masses upward. The African continent has undergone warping, twisting, and contortion due to opposing tectonic forces that engage in a constant tug-of-war across its structure. Consequently, the African continent is now comprised of two major sections, the Great Anubian section and the smaller Somali section along its entire eastern edge. At the Horn of Africa, a rift valley is forming, characterized by lowland regions where the continental crust is being contorted and twisted. In this case, the eastern section of the Nubian continental crust is sinking, which is also tilting parts of the Somali sections of the crust, and pressing it up against the much larger Indian and Arabian section of the Asian continental crust. The misconception is that the Somali section of the continental crust is somehow going to become fully separated, break off and float away from the Nubian section and become a fully mobile continental landmass, but that's not how tectonic works. So, as this continues, even at a rate of a few centimeters per year, over a few thousand years, parts of Ethiopia, Kenya, and Tanzania will begin to flood, and the creation of a new sea will emerge. Within those moments, the mountainous areas in this region of East Africa will eventually be seen as island chains, as the savannas and grassland plains, where animals used to roam and graze, sink beneath the ocean waves. To delve further into the dynamic geological changes that have shaped Earth's continents over vast periods of time, you can explore the book series Creation and the Universe for more information. For additional articles and research on related topics, you can refer to the following sources. Rift Valley National Geographic Education Upwelling rock beneath Atlantic Ocean may drive continents apart science news. The Atlantic Ocean is getting wider thanks to upwelling mantle rock gizmodo. Splitting Africa. What happens when a continent breaks apart the conversation? Thanks again for watching.
please subscribe.